What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode number 62. Oh, who that? Of the King's Speech Podcast. Look at that. We're in the same hey. place. Hey, <laughs> it's the boy Trev. What up, man? We're in the same, in the same location. Same location, New York. Same, what up? Same area code, same zip code, uh, same couch. We back, we back on the stew. We back in the stew. Indeed. Indeed. Back I'm on so the happy set. To be back in the stew, right? How you doing? How's it how's it feel? Like feeling this brisk New York air. It's a brisk <sighs> day today. Refreshing, honestly. When I got to the airport yesterday and I was waiting on the uh on the lift, mm -hmm. I was like, let me just stand outside and enjoy this cold ass breeze. <laughs> <laughs> like a weirdo. I was like, all right, all right, it's cold, it's cold. Let me go back inside. You're just gonna take it in? Yeah, I, I took it in for like about two minutes. And I was like, this shit is back inside. Pause. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year, everybody. Wow, where to start it <laughs> Happy New Year, everybody. He Happy took it in for two Year. minutes, and then he was like, chill. Yeah. It was two whole minutes. <laughs> um, yeah, Happy New Year, everybody. Thank you guys for watching The Best of 2020. Thank you guys for the feedback. Yes. Really good, really good feedback on The Best of 2020. Uh, we got a lot of you shit to get to. That. You got shit. I don't need any feedback. Oh, no, I, I got actually got a call uh, <laughs> from a family member uh, who really enjoyed it. Like That's she watched fire. it and watched it like full through and just really enjoyed it. Laughed a lot, had a good time with everybody. So it was helpful. good. I kind of want to give people some helpful times of when to when to listen to some pods uh, when you're cleaning in the house. Good time. Okay, Absolutely. that's a good time uh, when you're driving a distance more than thirty five minutes to an hour. Good mm -hmm. time, I think. You know, um, what about you? I feel like all of that works. Maybe even I listen to some in the shower. Like okay. I put my yeah. speaker on. I'm a shower guy as well. Or um, in the morning, sometimes I go have pods that I lock into. Like I'll just yeah. go through, make sure they're downloaded in case I'm in any places right. where there's no service, so that I'm good to go. <laughs> yeah, so that so I can listen to my podcast. So that I can listen to my podcast. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Very good times. Very, very good information. Mm -hmm. Um, We got a lot of stuff to get to. Yeah, let's get uh, to it, man. We got two topics each. You guys know how we do. Uh, we're going to get right to it, guys. Later on, we're going to go through our 2021 resolutions uh, and just a bunch of stuff that we saw. I sent you a bunch of stuff on Instagram also, like some some posts and shit that I wanted so to, I, to go through. Yeah, you're doing the social media thing. Yeah. Okay. Which, which, is, which, which, which I also realized that I need to find a new source of news. Entertainment or news? <laughs> oh, entertainment? I mean, whatever. <laughs> I entertain my own damn self sometimes. Uh -huh. But news, I'm just like, yo, yo, what happens? Since, What's going on? What happens since... 2021, like I had, but like, it's actually, you just go back to the old school things and you read newspapers or you go online. I, okay. I, I don't read newspapers. You just go online go and, you, and, you go, and, you, and you hit news and they tell you everything that's going on in the world. A lot of, a lot of crazy shit. A lot of crazy stuff is new happening COVID. in the world right now. Yeah, there's a new strain. New strain. <laughs> new strain <laughs> new of COVID, pack. guys. Warning, warning. <laughs> new strain of COVID. London's on lockdown. Um, so prayers up for all those in the United Kingdom. Um, the new strain of COVID. Hopefully it's not. Anything crazy? I'm, I'm not really moved by it right now. I don't know about you. I mean, I, I mean, I think I, I hope not to be moved by it because yeah, I, I don't like want to be moved. I'll be moved by it if it affects you know yes, my own of course. life and people of course. that I know. So I guess what I mean when I say I'm not moved by it is because I feel like um, I guess I, I need more details on it. If it's really like like mm -hmm. is it COVID? Is, is it just COVID or is this new strain like even more stronger and way more? Detrimental than it was last year. I think they're saying it's stronger, but the the vaccine does yeah. work. On okay. That new okay. Strain yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, cause like, now they got me, that got me tight. Yeah. You just dropped the vaccine like last week. Now you got a new drip. <laughs> new drip. Come on. All right, let's pod, bro. What's up? Indeed. All right. So, um, my first topic for episode sixty two. This straight this, to it. This this thing with. I don't know. I'll do the first thing first. So yeah. Diddy put on his Instagram. Oh yeah. If 2020 that. didn't bring out the hustle. If 2020 didn't bring the hustle out of you, it ain't in you. Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Siri doesn't agree. Yeah, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm with Siri on that. Um, how do you feel? How do you feel about that? If quote? 2020 didn't bring the hustle out of you, it ain't in you. Um, if the shoe fits, wear it. <laughs> That's how I feel about that quote because I can sit here and be like, yeah, 2020 did bring the hustle out of me. Mm -hmm. I can sit here and, and, and talk from a point of um, directly hustling my ass off uh, for the most part to get to accomplish some things that I needed to accomplish last year. Mm -hmm. um, but that's just what I wanted to accomplish with or without 2020. Being, like I wanted to accomplish those things regardless. Regardless of the circumstances. Regardless of the circumstances. So mm -hmm. I think it's, you know, if the shoe fits where it, um, because I feel like this is such a, because like it also, like I feel like this statement shits on people who didn't hustle last year. And it's like some people weren't in a position to hustle or some people yeah. weren't capable to hustle. So I don't really like that such a general broad statement because I feel like it's a little shady. I think it's really shady. I think it lacks empathy. Mm. And mm -hmm. I don't think Diddy's a guy without empathy. 
I don't. That doesn't. It doesn't come across to me as a guy without uh, empathy. I know people uh, that know him, so yeah, he he has uh, empathy. He has empathy. Yeah. Yes. yes. Um. So I just thought it was a little irresponsible. I just thought it was. He a has little, empathy, but he is he's he is an asshole. Uh, I guess. No, no, no. <laughs> no I, used, I used to intern at Bad Boy, and yeah. my boy used to like, like, like he's an asshole. I guess. But, but, but he does have empathy. So he does I, have I do agree empathy. with that. Yeah. But like this statement is, when you when you're a little bit of an asshole, you don't really realize how some things come off. I feel like sometimes, respectfully. Probably. Um, I'm an asshole sometimes. But I think I think the quote just likes empathy because there are people that, whatever happened in 2020 was totally out of their control. Yeah, like it was totally out of the control of how they could hustle, how they could earn, yeah, yeah. how they could work, how they could provide. Totally out of their control. Subjective, for sure. So I think this type of mentality of, you know, regardless of what's going on, just be unaffected by it and continue to push, 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 and like drain yourself, like the no, like like the whole shit that he was promoting back in the day. Like I don't sleep, I don't this, I don't do that. Yeah, nah, nigga, get some rest. <laughs> Take it, take take take, take a, good a nap. Eight, oh, like, good take, eight hours. Get a good eight hours. Get seven or eight hours. It's like and that. call it a night. Um, but yeah, that's just how I felt. About yeah, that. I, I think the statement is just a little. When you work for a billion dollars, man, I think you sometimes forget that some people don't will never even scratch a mill. You know, like some people won't even scratch a couple of thousand. Like like so like a statement like that from a, a man like that is just it's it's. It applies to him. He probably hustled his ass up. Probably, you know what I mean? Probably didn't see a drive. I don't know, right? But like, look outside. Like the real world. <laughs> yeah, the real world is wild right now. The, the real world people are affected by 2020. Things, the wild things are happening in the streets. Yeah. Streets are super hungry. People are doing desperate things yeah. in desperate times. So I don't know. I just, I just, I can't, I can't rock with that quote, with that statement. Yeah, it was I, heavy. I can't, man. I can't relate. I mean, both of us have done things in 2020 to really, you know, keep our heads above water and thrive. But that's just life. But that's uh, that's uh, that's life, and we haven't probably been as affected as a lot of other people. Mm -hmm. So you know, that's sure. stuff to take into account, also. Yeah, man. Listen, for all those who had a rough 2020, which is the vast majority of the universe, um, whatever that statement means, like all to me, all I'm just like, yo, just make 2021 better than last year. What can we do to make 21 better than last year? I mean, and, is there anything we can do? It's not in our control. That stuff is not in our control. There are a lot but of circumstances like, like, about how 2021 goes that are not in our control. Yes. So my thing is like control the things that you can control, which is like those those like self things, like you know, like mm -hmm. those self development, um, 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 building stronger relationships, things that are really tangible that you can control. Mm -hmm. Put the effort in there, hustle in, in those regards, because you're right. 2021, yeah. right now, at, at July 5th, we at uh, January 5th, we don't know what's going on tomorrow. No. Can't call it. We definitely don't know what's going to happen on July 5th. Yeah. So, no idea. That's really, really far from now. So it's, um, so you're right. Like a lot of stuff is without a control. You control what you can, your relationships, your health, all kinds of stuff like that. Big stuff time. that's probably within your control for 2021. Um, the next topic I had was, were two tweets by political analyst, pundit, whatever she wants to call herself these days, mm. Candace Owens, mm. right? So she tweeted... Netflix now has a category for black cinema. Uber Eats now has a category for black restaurants. The left has reintroduced segregation back into American society under the guise of progressivism. I didn't know that was a word. They used Black Lives Matter propaganda to anger black people to the point of blindness. Racist Democrats rebranded segregation as black empowerment and ignorant fools fell for it. Spoiler alert, they're not done yet. To keep believing evil white conservatives want to bring harm to you while the actual evil white racist progressives continue to destroy your life. So, um, the whole second tweet, I'm not fucking with because she's a psychopath. Yeah, the second, the second tweet, I'm not really here for. I love the first tweet. Yeah. I want to get into that one. Love. Okay, so, how I feel about the first tweet, yeah, right? Give me, I want to hear Trevor's, man. I want to see if we're synced up on this. I, I like, so, before there was, you know streaming because you know contrary to popular belief there was entertainment and life without streaming mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. there was a point where you had to like go to blockbuster or go to a store Love a friday night at blockbuster and wow. buy your movie yeah or actually go to the movies one and action, see the movie one premiere comedy, one video game are you nuts exactly and there was a time you had to buy your music you had to leave your house to get music wild right crazy yeah 
Um, you were a CD. You, you were so many CDs. You were, you were a Circuit City ass. I, <laughs> you used to go to Circuit City Green Acres, didn't you? I, no, I used to go to Fye and Green Acres, and I used to go in. Okay, Gavin. okay. Fye is a classic. Fye, yeah. Yo, if you there don't know what Fye Field is, too. yeah, the Roosevelt Hill one was big, and they used yeah. to have like toys and T-shirts and shit. Yeah, I, I yeah. never could afford it. Whatever. Good times. Good time to look though. <laughs> it was like a museum for me. <laughs> the um, so there were a time. There was a time before that, right? And. During that time, you really, if you were looking for black movies or black art, or even in some music stores, black music, you had to dig. Like, you had to look really hard yeah. to find that shit. Yeah. It wasn't anything that was, like, really advertised or presented to the masses so that it had a chance of doing well and being successful. Um, now, that's not the case, right? right? Like, with the advent of Black Lives Matter and the way the year has gone and the call for the call to action for Hollywood when it was Oscar so white and Grammy so white there's been an effort to make all of this material produced by black people readily available like as soon as you turn on Netflix yeah, it's, there. it's you know black lead it's black women it's black men it's black directors um and apparently Candace sees that as separating from yeah. The masses. I love it. Now Trevor's on to what we're on. Right, he's good. Now, I'm I'm cool. I'm very 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 cool with all of that stuff being presented and and prominent, especially since for hundreds of years in cinema, it wasn't. Never had it. Never. It wasn't. Yeah. So I don't really see this as as segregation. I thought really hard about this when I saw this tweet. When I saw this tweet also. Because it kind of does seem like, like sep like separatism, but it's not right. It's not if you're actually like presenting art that's good that wouldn't have been promoted otherwise. That's good, man. Because when I saw this tweet, I had like the same sentiment essentially, and it was just mm -hmm. like, yo, like <clears throat> our people, right? We've been through a lot. I'm not gonna not gonna discredit that or, or take anything away from that, but. I believe in progression, mm -hmm. right? And so if we have a movement in which we're demanding respect, demanding to be seen, demanding to be heard, demanding for our women to have respect, if, if, if that movement has now spiraled and caused a change yep. amongst the corporations that actually are in, we're talking about Uber and Netflix. So right now we're talking about the two biggest conglomerates for food and transportation, delivery, trans and transportation, and right? media. And then for, and for media, right? Yeah. Like two big corporations right new on the scene too let's give them credit for being new corporations on the scene and being proactive and saying yo you know what we heard y'all yeah and we're going to change so my take on this is we as people have to change the lens in which we receive things right like when we see things we can't just say oh look at this white person creating a a, a category for black cinema mm -hmm. that's separatism yeah. is it is it or, or can we look at it from a different lens? And I look at it as like, wow, yo. All the movies for us, by us, is in one section, and it has its own title, and it's being highlighted. All the black-owned businesses mm -hmm. for us, by us, within our 15-mile radius that do deliveries and make great food is now in one tab where we can find it. Yeah. Is it, are they making us, are they isolating us, are they highlighting us? What lens are we looking at for? So then I looked up Candace Owens, and I'm like, damn, Candace, I'm disappointed. Candace is not a good person. Yeah, I'm disappointed, <laughs> Candace, because like, baby girl, like you don't see that this is like this is progression. Like this, I'm proud of black cinema. I'm proud of of black businesses getting highlighted on an Uber app. Yeah, people look at I don't know, like it's like she's kind of using progressive as a bad word, or like as a bad yeah. thing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, like inclusion or or promotion of marginalized like directors or artists is a bad thing, and it's not. Like it's, it's it's not it's really really not. It may look different. It may feel different. It, it, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. like you know what I'm saying? Like it might it might feel new or or it might look like look. I get it. They separated the black movies from whatever, so it might look like separation. But it's but look at the lens that you're looking at from. Yeah, absolutely. You you want it. You want them to like. We can't want them to be racist. We have to say, hey, we want change. And I believe that because. I said that out loud and, and we and we voiced our opinions that you heard that and you received that and so that you're doing that because you also want to change. Yeah. So now as a person who's looking for change, I have to give you that area, that grace, that 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 playing field so you can be like, oh like 
look, look, they, they did something. Yeah. I appreciate that. That, like let's like let, let's appreciate it for a second. That that has that has to be the lens uh, that we look at it from, and yeah, and and can, and you know, based on like Candace Owens' history, she's not the the like the perfect person to really have this kind of message. Oh, baby girl. Um, especially with the following tweet that we read earlier, right? And and there's 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 this. Of course, everything is like super political in 2020, and it's gonna it seems like it's gonna stay that way. Keep rocking in 2021, which is fine, which is cool. It's, it's cool to have the conversations. It's cool to have the discussions. Um, but we got to just, like, be really careful of who we are propping up or acknowledging when it comes to certain viewpoints. And for something like this, like, I'm, I'm proud that all that stuff is available. I'm proud that, like, I can see, um, you know, the game or Girlfriends. That Fire. TV Our shows I used to watch that Things are, that that we are featured. Yeah. On Netflix, things that you know you can relate to, black women can relate to, black men can relate to. So uh, our communities maybe... were so happy when when the shows that we came up on yeah. dropped into a streaming service. Our communities rejoiced. Mm -hmm. we, we binge partied. We did this. Don't tell me, like, don't don't. We can't look at it from that lens anymore. No, no. no. Like it's it's also not fair to those who don't look like us when they're making an effort. Yeah. To try to be different. It's not fair for us to be like, yo, you're still racist. Yeah. Yo, you're still separatist. It's just not fair, man. So if we want progression, we have to also progress in the mindset in which we receive things. Well, I think this is just like Candace. She was probably just watching. Just Candace. Yeah, she Candace. Was, she was watching Friends. She was watching yeah, Friends was watching. when she was younger. <laughs> she was watching Seinfeld. Not to hate on those Not shows, to hate on but those, but also get a little bit of a. Yeah, I can't see Candace always watching Girlfriends. I can't see Candace Owens watching Candace might have watched Girl, the Parkers right? or watching Martin. <laughs> Candace Owens watching Martin? No. No way. Okay, Martin. No. She, liked, she, okay, Martin she was no, watching Roseanne. Friends, yeah. She was watching Roseanne. <laughs> Roseanne is, was all right. Yo, Roseanne was yo, all right. Some of those white shows were all right. Um, Home Improvement, tough. Home Improvement was dope. Uh, what was King the, of Queens was fire. King of Queens is still fire. Salute. Still fire. Absolutely. Kim and I will get like, we used to get like at least like two a night. You know, I like King of tonight. Queens because like, because Doug was just, they had so many like, this is gonna sound fucked up, but uh, I was I started watching the show with my girl, A uh, Million Little Things. Okay, and it's a like a ninety five percent white cast. Okay, there's one black couple, there's one Asian girl, and then that's it. Everybody else, you know, is white as my t shirt. Let's change that in twenty twenty one. Hire more blacks. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> um, but they're a messy fucking family. Like they're messy which, as fuck. Which family? Uh, the white families. Oh, come they're on. all messy. Come on. Now. Like one person has a baby with their, her best friends. Uh, with her husband's best friend, nobody knows who the baby daddy is. Yeah. The the husband committed suicide, and he had this like sordid past where he has like this kid that just popped up out the out the woodwork. I love watching messy white families, <laughs> and Doug Heffernan was a messy white man. You think so? Super messy, super blue collar, yeah. super messy, super like pizza stain on the shirt. <laughs> oh, messy in that nigga. Regard. He was just a chubs. He was a chubs. He was a, ch he was a chubby, messy white But he white wasn't man. like white trash white man, though. He was a, I liked him as a white dude. I thought he was cool. He was, he was His like, best friend was black. I fuck with Doug, dog. I fuck with Doug. That's true. Everybody That's needs true. a Doug. Every day. Yeah, Doug is a good friend. Doug's a good friend. He was a good friend, indeed. Honestly, Doug just wanted to come home, eat a good meal, watch some sports, and have some sex. And Carrie didn't want to oh, that. Oh, that seems like everything. And in Carrie didn't want it. That's all you need, really, as a guy, right? Good day at work. Good day at work. Good dinner. <laughs> wow, who's playing tonight? <laughs> oh, let's get some Baby, sex. Baby, open it up. <laughs> like, yeah. Cause you like imagine like, <laughs> like a like a perfect night for a New York nigga is is, is, oh, is Knicks game at seven. Go, <laughs> <laughs> kick me off with the Knicks game at seven. Perfect, perfect, yeah. perfect day. You <laughs> get up. Let me hear the perfect you, the perfect day, day for a New York nigga, right? You get up. Kiss your girl, kiss your wife. Bacon, egg, and cheese? Bacon, egg, and Ooh cheese for wee. breakfast. Apple juice with Ooh your bacon, egg, and cheese. <laughs> you either, if you drive, you hit no traffic. If yeah, you take okay, public transportation, day. train comes on time, yeah, bus comes yo, on yo, time. If you're taking the train, it goes, like, and you have to transfer. It's like as you pull up, the other train's pulling in. Pulling in, like, yeah. Okay. And you catch the express. Ooh, we. At, at your job in 20 minutes, at, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. After that, nope. great day at work. What happens at work? Nobody bothering No, 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 no. There's free lunch in the break room. Oh, my God. There's free lunch in the break room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I love when that little silver pants. Yeah. Pass. Eat? Cordova? Okay, Free okay. lunch in the break room that yeah. day, right? You get home, same thing. No traffic. Sun is still out. Wow, at five. Sun is still out. out. Yeah, you can still... You can. Wow. Yeah. What, what, you the world's get, yours. You get home. <laughs> Sun's still out. Sun is still out. The world is yours to conquer. No traffic as you get home. 
And then as soon as you get home, like your girl is like, hey, like, you know, how was your day at work? It was great. How was yours? Mine was dope too. Are you a, do you answer that question as soon as you walk in the door? Because I can't do that. What, answer it? I do. I, I'm like, I'm like, hey, what's up? You got to think I, about it? No, no, I don't have to think about it. <laughs> I like to decompress when I get home. But the thing is, like, it was a good day. Okay, so, okay. Like, so, everything so, went yeah, well. Baby! Baby was oh, So you was started, you, you gave the first kiss. Yes. Oh, look at Chad. it was dope, right? Okay, okay, okay. okay. This is Free lunch in the break. It's not a regular day. It's a good day. Shit, it's a okay, good day. Okay, okay. Skip and then you get home and you it's like. You wore your phone passes to work? <laughs> <laughs> did you wear your phone passes to work today? I wore my 95 Air Maxes. Yeah, that's did, what I wore to work. You did, green. I always wore them, but they were too big. Continue. That's what I wore to work. And then um, you get home, good dinner is cooking. Um, you got some pasta that you cooked the night before, but then the, the flavors got to marinate in yeah, the fridge, yeah, and yeah, the next good. day is even better. Good. So you have that. Knicks game is seven. Who they playing? Who they playing? Knicks are playing It's the a Lakers. win. It doesn't matter. Knicks are playing LeBron. Right, it's not a win. <laughs> they're, they're the and they win. And they win. I'm telling you what a perfect day yeah, is. Yeah, this is a perfect New Year's I'm not day. telling you like what a realistic yeah, yeah, okay, day okay, is. Okay, Perfect well, day. Well, your man, Julius, we're going to talk about Julius, but Julius, we're gonna so talk, Julius had a we're damn gonna near triple-double. Julius had a quadruple double. Put, Julius had a quadruple double and hit the game-winning shot. And hit the game-winning shot. Julius? Julius had a quadruple double. How did Frank do? Frank did? Frank nigga got no burn. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. That's a good day, too, when that nigga does not get off the bench. Um, And then right after that, like, your wife is just, she has all this energy. Your wife, your girl has all this energy. So you know what it you is. Know what's po- you know what's, you know what's going down, right? Yeah. Been so good. then after that, you get some, you get some, Good Nick game, good day at work, good traffic, some good love making right after that. And then what else happens? A good eight hours. Ready for tomorrow. Perfect, yes, day. perfect day for a New York man. Yeah, it's a perfect, perfect day. Perfect day. No traffic and everything you want. Good booms. Nick's got the dub. Nick's got the win. Juju went crazy. Quadruple double? Quad? A quad? <laughs> Luca who? Exactly right. <laughs> I like a good New York day, man. That's that's a good day. That's just a good day. I don't think Candace has ever had a good New York day. Candace has never really never hopped and skipped from the from the E train. Never ever to the eighty five. Ever 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 <laughs> ever ever. <laughs> uh, oh, those are my two topics. Um, I did have a third there. Go ahead, hit him. Hit him. Go ahead. I see it. Go All ahead. Right, so, because <laughs> I feel like you side with this dude. I feel like you saw, with this I, opinion, yet. yeah, yeah, yeah. Go with ahead. this opinion, yeah, I can't wait so, till Drake um, takes him to new heights. So Charlemagne, new levels. A quoted, <laughs> that song is trash, by the way. It is. I don't. <laughs> but I just wanted to take you to new levels. Go ahead. Uh, so he says that Drake doesn't have another level, mm-hmm. and that he said it's not the Drake era. I still know it's the Drake era. Yeah. I'm not that like, yeah. I guess naive or oblivious to what's happening in the in the, in the culture, but I do not think Drake has another level. I feel like we've seen all Drake can do. Okay. Yeah, my thing is like, do you do you want another love from Drake? Or are you satisfied? I'm satisfied though. Okay. Like, like if you if a decade, right? It's been a decade. Yeah, a little bit over a decade, right? At the top, dominating. I don't like this statement because it's like it's not even realistic. Like, we're not even being grateful for all the levels that he's taking us to. We're just shitting on the fact that we think that we're greedy. Americans are greedy. The fact that we're expecting an artist to take us to a new level when this man has changed the sound of, of music. Okay, whether you, okay, 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 easy, okay, easy okay, okay. You don't want me to say it. It's okay. Yo, your favorite rappers be 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 crooning on songs now. That wasn't cool before. Well, it was. That it was, was well, it's not like Drake was the first person to do he that. He wasn't the first one, but who made it cool though? Yeah. Okay. So what I'm saying is like he has taken us to new level. He's he's contributed a lot to the culture. He's contributed a lot to music in itself. And like we can just be cool with him as being a legend and an icon and appreciate whatever he gives. Do I need to go to a new level? No. Yes, you do. Because we expected of every other artist. When, yeah. when Drake was Drake oh, when, when that's, Drake that's good. When, every other artist. When Drake was putting out mixtapes, and then he put out he puts out an album. We expect that album to be to another level, right? We expect the production to be better. We expect the mixing, the mastering, all that shit to be better. We expect the effort and the material to be a little bit different. We, like that's, that's just what we expect. And the thing and, is, and we expect is. that with every other artist, which is, is why is. we listen to new albums. I'm not going to buy the same album it's not. 10 times. It's not. But it is. No album's the same. You can't tell me that with a straight face, that no, no Drake album is the same. They're not the same. How are they not the same? What's the difference between between Views and Scorpion? Content. 
No, it's not. It's not. It's the same content. Content's different, different points in times in our lives. Like, it's what new level has content. Hope taken you? Four, four, four. Oh, you like that one, right? It's a good, but it's a good example. Okay, all right. And before that, what was uh, that? before because, yeah, yeah, before that. So okay. before that was American Gangster. Mm-hmm. That was a new level for you. That was a new level for him. I'm just saying. Was it, was it good for you? It was great for me. Okay. Before that, Kingdom Come. We don't want to have to talk about Kingdom Come, even no. though, even though, <laughs> even though Kingdom Come is over. Is Yo, underrated. that was what hope it is. Kingdom but, Come is underrated. But hope trying to take us to a new level, and niggas was like, hey, "Yeah, yo, no, Kingdom, <laughs> yo, everything good." He did. Yo, hope you good? <laughs> no more button ups. <laughs> what's up? What was going on? He what's did, the new he rule? He did try to take us to a new level yeah. in Kingdom Come. Yeah. Underrated, underrated album. Listen to it now, as opposed to listening to it, listening to it 14 years ago. Underrated album, right? Mm-hmm. Um. And then just con- like consistently took us to new levels when it came to like production and collaborations and, Drake and, do that? and sounds. He doesn't. Okay, cool. No problem. What do you expect from Certified Lover Boy? <laughs> Love making music. What else? <laughs> yeah, that. What else? Some good, some good driving, uh, some good driving songs. You, the crazy thing is, uh, it, like Trevor comes on this on this platform and he acts like he does not also on the late night listen to Drake. I don't listen to Drake on the late night. Okay, well, I can, I can, I have. You, be you can ask. You can ask Andy. I do not listen to Drake on the late night. That's not my go-to. What's your go-to? After hours is not what's Drake. Your, what's your after-hour go-to? My go-to Boom is <laughs> my go-to at eleven thirty. It's Benny back. <laughs> no, no, no. Back to the back to the perfect New York nigga day. Oh, like, let me hear it. It's eleven thirty p.m. <laughs> you got Griselda. <laughs> <laughs> Griselda blasting out the Bluetooth and <laughs> your girl coming out. Talk about moving state some, to state. some lingerie to some boom bap. <laughs> Yo, Trevor's, Trevor's Fantasy World, boom bap and lingerie is sick. <laughs> we not even going to get that. No, no, you're not boom bapping with lingerie. No. Oh, man. <laughs> no, no. Oh, uh, I got Benny the Butcher <laughs> just, uh, Benny going. just going in. You can't even have that in the mix, huh? You can't even have that in the mix. In a late night mix? No, of course not. No, 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 uh, no, no, no. In, in the uh, the same mix that you would put on when Shorty comes out in the lingerie, there's there should be no Benny. There should Benny. be no Benny. No Benny. <laughs> <laughs> Leave Benny. Benny the Butcher should not be on the lingerie playlist. <laughs> if she's from the Bronx, yeah, then well, it's necessary. Well, then yeah, I mean, if she's a Brooklyn Shorty, then you need Benny. You need some Fat Joe. Yeah. Uh, you need some Joel Ortiz. Ortiz. Uh, you need all that. But no, I, I just I just don't think Drake has another level. It is just, it is still the Drake era. That's I cool, know man. that. I just don't think he has. I don't think he's gonna take us somewhere else. No problem. I don't. That's cool. I feel like Drake is like an airline that doesn't fly international. You are just disrespectful. I'm just rude. saying, unless and he's making accents, I have to right? Come on this platform. What is he gonna take us to? Sit here and hear you just. He's been Jamaican on a few albums. You like that? He's been Canadian. Now, the craziest thing is he probably caught the craziest wine. To, he's been um, British. Baby. Is he gonna be I Haitian like on this it. next you album? Just, Seen you dance to Drake. You never seen me I've dance never to seen Drake. You dance at all, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen you dance. <laughs> never seen Nobody's Trump. ever seen me dance. Nobody's to Drake. ever seen Trev dance. No, nah, probably not. Two stepper. Definitely, I've two step. Oh, yeah, two stepped a few times. Keep it tight, right in your box. What's you, what's you, yo, what's you, what's the move that you do? And like, yo, they're like Trevor's going crazy, man. I don't have a going crazy. No, you move. gotta have a going. I don't crazy. have a going crazy move. I don't. I gotta go crazy move doing something else. But I don't gotta go crazy. crazy. I don't gotta go crazy move on the Facts. dance floor. <laughs> I don't got a lot. Yeah, I, you gotta know what you're good at in life. That's not That's one thing fine. I'm good at. I like the like the thing is like I'm an average dancer at best, but like I'm a good hype man. But you exactly you put you you put energy into it, and like yeah. you, you're if you're confident in it, everybody else yeah, is okay. confident. Yeah, in but it. the dancers be dissecting me like this nigga's off beat, and I'm like, no, chill, chill, chill. Man, shut the fuck up, Chris <laughs> I'm Brown. like, chill, 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 chill. I'm just trying to get the, the two step. Fucking Laurie Ann Gibson in the corner telling <laughs> just you, tell me what I'm you doing. You don't have the steps right. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, I'm just trying to have a good time, man. Indeed. All right, hold on. Oh. What you got? Uh, wow. So I had a couple different topics here, man. Um, we're up. 600 to start the year. I thought that was dope, actually. I thought waking up in the new year to a little 600 was cool. It's nice. It's better than nothing. It was nice. It's better than nothing. I thought that was just kind of, I thought that was like nice timing. Mm -hmm. I thought that was really, really cool on, like, we had to give America credit. Like, they don't have to give us 600. They should, right? Mm -hmm. They have, uh, they don't have to, but like, you know, ultimately, do they have to? No. Ultimately, they they, they have to. (laughs) I, I mean, honestly, they have to because. America is a capitalist country and a capitalist society, and that's the way it's been built for the past, no, you know, for sure, four hundred years. 
So if people don't have money, they're not spending money. If they're not spending money, businesses fail. If businesses fail, they don't pay taxes. If they don't pay taxes, politicians don't get paid. And you know politicians love to get paid. And if they don't get paid, they don't work. If they don't work, they don't run our government. We don't have services. We don't have roads. We don't have shit. We don't have that. So, yeah, they have to give us money. <laughs> Trevor wants his money. Swing that. I, I, I believe that... that I think it's just dope, man. I, I'm, I'm very. Uh, I thought it was dope just to wake up to a little 600. Uh, my friend sent me a tweet because people get ignorant sometimes, and the tweet mm-hmm. was like, "It said um, made 600 dollars last night uh, while sleeping. <laughs> I'm really different." <laughs> and honestly, you ain't doing nothing if your money's not making money. Yo, honestly, like that nigga never lied. <laughs> like, nah. But um, if you ain't making money while you're sleeping, you ain't doing shit. All yeah, them shit. Yeah, all, the, all them. All, all them. those stories. So it looks like they, I don't know, like um, the second wave of 600 should be dropping in this week. Some people might have seen it this week, um, this week being the fifth and onward. Yeah. But it is, uh, CBS News reported today that the second wave is is on the way, but only certain people are eligible for it. Um, I think it's people under 75,000, right? Yeah. Under 75K for the year. <laughs> My boy, uh, the pharmacist we were talking about. Uh-huh. Uh, he was like, yo, y'all niggas really getting stimuluses like this shit. <laughs> <laughs> he was tight. <laughs> he was actually upset. He's like, my girl, she got a stimulus and she got a raise. He's like, I don't understand. I'm still not getting stimuluses. <laughs> and I'm like, dog, this is how it goes. But um, it looks like we are going to get the full 2,000. Um, when, I, I mean, that, I guess that's after Trump is out of office, right? Yeah. After and Trump. if this election in uh, Georgia goes the way it's supposed to go. Yes. And we can get... Well, I don't want to say we, because I'm not a politician. If Democrats can get uh, control of the Senate, then they'll have control of the Senate and Congress, and then they'll be able to, you know, do things that they that they say they're going to they do. do, or maybe not. Who knows? Politicians are <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> pretty uh, pretty tricky when it comes to the words and language they use. Uh, no, so, for sure. you know, I mean, like, listen, six hundred is great. It's better than nothing. Uh, there are people in this country right now who haven't paid their rent in eight months. Right. So I don't know what 600 is ex- exactly going to do for them besides just make their landlords mad when they send them a check for $600 instead of 2000 <laughs> So <laughs> Hi. Or not even 2000 like 10000 yeah. Some people are paying like $10,000 in back rent right now. Right. What the fuck is 600 supposed to do? Sure, sure. I think with the 600 I was like, I wrote 600, we were up 600, how, how we're going to act. And I guess like the thing is like, be responsible. I think um, with this money that we're, 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 that we're being given, like let's be responsible with it. I'm not telling people how to do with their money, but do use that money for things that are going to help you get further. I'm going to tell people, buy, pay a bill or something. Yeah, yeah, pay a bill. Pay somebody that you owe money to, whether it be a person <laughs> that you borrowed money from or a business that you borrowed money from. <laughs> Pay the niggas back. <laughs> Give everyone their rightful bread. I promise you, if there was a time in this like pandemic where I lent somebody six hundred dollars and oh, they got their stimulus, this. and then I go online and see them with those new like uh, what is the at the AirPod headphones that are five hundred and forty nine dollars, yeah. and then they send me a cash app for fifty dollars. <laughs> I'm throwing my phone across the room. <laughs> no, I, I got to pull up on you. Those are my headphones. No, I'm doing that too. Yeah, but I'm throwing my phone again, across the room first because I'm just disrespect because the level of disrespect, disrespect is in wild. my device right now. And then I'm gonna ask, hey, remember a few months ago? Run that. <laughs> Run it all. <laughs> Run it all, man. No, just be responsible with your bread. Um, it's we don't even know if we're ever gonna see something like this ever again in our lifetime. Really, truly. Right? What we don't the pandemic? Know. Pandemic stimulus checks, like these are like you know what I mean, like this is not like this. Is, I mean, I'm 20, I'm 30 years old. I mean, you wouldn't need stimulus checks if there wasn't a pandemic. <laughs> I understand, but I'm saying like right now, be smart with your bread. Yeah, that's yeah, absolutely. Um, and wear a mask. And w- please, I have a mask. Oh, I took it off. <laughs> <laughs> I did have it though. And wear a um, mask. And then in the spirit of 2021, 20, uh, I'm not here to hit you with resolutions or, or anything too heavy. I want to talk about some healthy tips for 2021. Um, Who are these tips for? Hmm? Who are these tips the first for? One, the first one is, is going to be the last one. I just put, <laughs> I put that there because I was reading it out. We'll talk about the first one later. But I'm actually going to go uh, <laughs> down up. Um, so the first one is talk to someone you trust when you're feeling down. So I shouldn't uh, go to social media when I'm feeling down. Nah, leave, leave. Please don't tweet about it. I shouldn't don't add, I shouldn't don't start long a poll. story me. I don't start, start a poll. On don't Instagram. start a poll. Yo, 
sidebar. Nothing more awkward to me than when couples poll. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Next, <laughs> next topic. Um, prepare your food co- correctly. Uh, keep it clean. Separate your, your raw and uncooked. Cook thoroughly and keep your food at a safe temperatures. Reason being is like with diseases just flying around, like it's super important to just make sure that at home we're taking care of the things that we take from the outside and make sure that like that, like it's the cleanest it could be. No rotten we, meats. No rotten meat. Oh, y'all sick, nasty. No rotten meats. Um, be active. Oh yeah, love didn't, this. Didn't tell you to work out. I didn't tell you any of that. I just said be active. Not nah, work out. I mean, yeah, but you know what I mean? Like, be active. <laughs> Adults should get at least like 150 minutes of moderate intensity of physical activity each That's week. it? Yo, it's only 30 minutes a only day. Only 30 minutes a day, man. Five days a week. That's only 30 minutes a day, five days a week. <clears throat> On the weekends, you Out of your 24-hour to... block of each day. So you... 30 minutes out of 20, each 24 hours of every yeah. day. You can make something happen. It's good for you. It stimulates the mind. It um, It's good for your body. It's good for your health. It's good for your blood circulation. And it's good for the people around you because... Like, wow, you're just doing something. And it rubs off. Yeah. On the weekends, you can go back to drinking your white claws and eating buffalo wings. But during <laughs> Who the week- shading? He, Trevor's <laughs> clients be like, dude, had like six white claws this weekend. <laughs> Fucking pounded celery sticks with my wings. Trevor's like, wings? White claws? Yeah, you're not lying. 20 suicides. You be, you be running them up. You're not lying. Yeah, that's that Long Island. That's <laughs> the white claws. <laughs> that's the white claws. They love them shits. They got the new Bud Seltzer now that niggas love. I let it go. I let them all go. <laughs> Every, y'all can have it all. Um, do your preventative health screens. I just set up my dentist appointment for Thursday, starting off the year with the pearly whites. You know how it is. Yeah, I got to do that. Um, but just do all the things that you need for your health. Your mammograms, your prostate screenings, your skin. Like I'm 30 years old. I got to go at some point. Have them check the check, check the check the trunk. Check your prostate. <sighs> I think that's at forty, isn't? It? I think they, I think you get your. I think most people get like that first screening at forty. At forty, but it's like it's, like these are things that we would put on our radar, be alert. Not something I'm looking forward to. Not not <laughs> putting that one off. Um, and then in the spirit of like just a lot of of my friends, shout out to Nick. He gave me the sweatshirt. He's expecting a baby. I have like five friends expecting kids within the next six months. And I saw something dope for the healthy tips for the women. Um. About breastfeeding, that's a choice. Yes, we could, you guys. That, tune that is the- that is that is a choice. I am not telling you what to do with your body, but I am going to tell you the health benefits of breastfeeding. I feel like that's safe, right? That was safe. It's safe, and I know everybody's tuned in today to hear our thoughts on breastfeeding. <laughs> 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 it's part of the. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was really, really good. With yo, dude, here's why. Here's why. Because everyone tuning in, like, I, like people are tuning in. Their girls are gonna have. They're gonna be breastfeeding. Okay. Fellas, this is the benefits of breastfeeding. And you can talk to your girls about it and do some more research. And you can and just, tell them you heard and then, it from us. And, <laughs> <laughs> Josh and Trev said. <laughs> Josh and Trev also told me. Um, oh boy. But aside mm. from being beneficial to the babies, breastfeeding is also good for the mother as it reduces the risk of breast and ovarian cancer. Cool. That's two things. Mm-hmm. So breast and ovarian cancer. And then um, type 2 di- uh, diabetes. Yeah, that's a killer. And then postpartum depression, which is something that... The reason why that was imp- uh, impressive to me is because postpartum depression is a real thing. It is. Um, and... This is cool. This is cool. This is one thing that can help with it. I don't, I mean, like, as men, sometimes, like, your girl's just like, she just gave a child and you don't know what's going on. And you're just like, never mind. I, I just felt, I just had a very immature thought. I just got, like, a picture in my head of, like, a woman. The president like, no, 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 a baby? No, I have a woman just, like, sitting, a woman that just had a baby just, like, sitting around thinking, like, oh, I'm so sad. And just pulling out her titty and just, like, squirting milk out <laughs> with no baby around just to feel better. <laughs> hey! If it works, don't drink the milk though. If you're, if mad you're like, in the milk. if you're a woman and you're a Knicks fan and you're like have, and you're mad that they're losing, do you just like grab your titty and squeeze the milk out, <laughs> Trevor, and feel better about that Knicks loss? Trevor wants to squeeze his titties. I don't. I'm just. I'm just as a I'm Knicks fan thinking. who is suffering from postpartum depression. <laughs> Maybe post game depression. Post game depression. You're just like yo, yo. <laughs> Like Frank Neal Aquila played the entire fourth quarter depression. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> bad depression, man. Oh uh, man, good stuff. Yeah, good so stuff. those are my healthy tips, man. But let's keep moving on to some Indeed. topics. All right, y'all. So next up, we're gonna go to uh, some current events. So another thing that I took off of social media for this episode, 
Fab. Fabulous. F A B O L O U S. Yo, he's given us a lot of good stuff, though. So a lot of great hits over the years and a few interesting outfits as well. Um, he, he, he pushes. He pushes the envelope on the outfits. I mean, he dresses like a 22-year-old, and he's yeah. 43. Yeah. So that's that's interesting also. Interesting. I think he's like, all right, let's say, let's say Fab, obviously he dresses seven days out of the week. How many of those, and he poses every single picture, out of the seven, out of the seven fits in the week, how many are, are okay? Um, I'm going to go, he's maybe like, you know, a good 40% from the field. Yeah, he's like a, he's like a, he's like 40%. He's a forty. He's a good forty percent from the field. Um, but he posted an Instagram picture fe- featuring him and his wife Emily B. Emily Bustamante, mother of his kids. Um, so this is his caption for the Instagram, which has so many women just so happy and so like you know elated at the the greatness in their relationship. Right? He says, "I know the cool of this generation is being savage and not giving a fuck." And all the rap songs say money over everything, and everybody is sleeping with somebody else's man or woman. Hold on. But, okay. but for real, having a partner to love, it wasn't share even life for real. Fa real, Ra- yeah, fa real, fa, <laughs> fa, whatever. Fa real, having a partner to love, share life with, raise a family together with, and make each other better is real goals. That's the real cool. That's really winning. Love you at Emily B. And then as a response, I mean, I kind of had the same response. You know, as you a lot know, of you other know people. Black Twitter got him. Yeah, they say it took three babies. Yep. A dropped assault charge yep. in 16 years for Fab to even claim Emily. And here you are with heart eyes over a nicely typed paragraph. The bar is in hell. That's how low the bar is. It's in hell. Yeah, man. Listen, first, I want to give credit to Fab. To, fa- to, fa- to, to Fab. To Fab. To Fab. <laughs> on the rebrand. That's um, how they say Fab in the Lower East. Yeah. Uh, in the village. <laughs> you seen Fab? Fab. Uh... Yeah, I want to give credit to Fab on the rebrand. I would also encourage him to shut the fuck up <laughs> and just rebrand yourself and focus. Because you're talking to us like he's like tweeting this in 2021, like it's new, like 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 love is cool. Like we didn't know that, nigga. We know that. We knew that, bro. You don't know who didn't know that. You've been rapping since 1998. It is now 2020. You've been living. I, yeah, you're tired of of cheating and fucking bitches and getting caught, nigga. I would be too. <laughs> So you found a new life and a new passion, but you don't have to sit here and start preaching like you wasn't rapping about fucking bitches, like you weren't pulling up in the Rolls Royce uptown, hitting all the Spanish joints. We know, we know what she was on. No shade. I think that was extremely <laughs> shady. That was, was it's shady. <laughs> it was shady. It was shady. It's shady at seven o'clock at night. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just like the rebrand's cool, but the talking about it from a like perspective, like you weren't like one of the biggest ambassadors of just like fuck money, fuck money, bitches, whatever else the saying is. It's, it's like yo, just. Chill. I mean, you got to give people the chance to grow. I'm giving that, but with the silence though. You got to give people the chance to grow. Um, or maybe he's using his platform. Val- maybe I'm just. My whole thing is oh, is like, him. women, particularly women of color, black women, Spanish women. Before they Latinas, get to papi, Latinas, Latinas, I'm Latinas, sorry, I'm sorry, you know? my bad, my bad, lo siento, <laughs> he said, lo, si- lo siento. Um, <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's good. That was good. Duolingo. <laughs> You're not writing bilingual in 2021. Um, mi gente. <laughs> <laughs> lo siento, mi gente. Or is it mi gente, lo siento? That's the, it's the I, first one? I believe it's the first one. Lo siento, mi, mi gente. Is the, like, niggas love that mi gente. Lo siento, mi gente. Um, <laughs> so apparently like before black women or Spanish women get to this point of elation and family unit and trust and love, they got to go through this the ring immense of suffering for them to get to this point. Like if you guys, you guys know I watch Love and Hip Hop. There's a, a special on tonight that I'm going to watch. Um, that's it. Also, also, like if the Knicks aren't playing, that's just substitute that for a perfect for New York, a perfect day. New York this thing will go day. Crazy, absolutely. The reunion, the reunion. Oh, I love it. Hip hop New York reunion. Yes. <laughs> With Jim Jones and Chrissy <laughs> and, and Joe. Andy and Joe makes a special appearance. Yeah, you gotta get a little Joe. Man, you gotta get a little Joe. But anyway, let me get back because I'm gonna back. be serious. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, women have to go through this immense suffering before men get to a place where they realize what they have or realize what they could lose. And I think Fab got to a point where he realized what he could lose. Now, let's say Emily continues to go through with this assault case and Fab She's faces not. 
No, no, she's not. We already know she's not. Yeah, she, she got she's, 100. Because they got, they got married they tra- right after. He, tra- knocked her teeth he traded, out. he traded her for 100, 100 Instagram posts. Yeah. I, 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 will, I promise you, I'll take all my, 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 my fit pics with you. Yeah. Um, and we'll match. And I love you. You know, so she already decided this is not what she's going to do. She's going to go forward. She's going to forgive him, which is cool, which is fine, which is possible. And it's totally possible he's a changed human being and he will never put his hands on her again. And he will never ostracize or take advantage of her or he emotionally abuse her or physically abuse her again. Totally within the realm of possibility. However, we cannot ignore the suffering that this woman had to go through yo, to get to this point. Yeah. We didn't even know who Emily... Yo, yo, saying Fab was married or saying Fab had a baby mom was so hush-hush. It was hush-hush. It was like, does he? Until she was on Love & Hip Hop. And then when she was on Love and Hip Hop and she was trying to get him to be a part of family events that the cameras were covering, he wouldn't show up. There's this famous scene where she has like a family photo shoot that she invites him to. It's not anything messy. It's just, just a family photo shoot. Yeah, the fact that the fact that you have to invite your man to the family photo shoot yeah. is also wild. It's like that's your man. And yo, we have sh- and he didn't show up. Now, I understand not wanting to be a part of the love and hip-hop mess and mix and mingle with people who probably aren't as notable or don't have the talent that you have. Understand it. But show up, like, for your family. Obviously, there was a discussion between you two when she agreed to do this and you said you can do this. So show up for your family. And then going through the fact that he had to, like, knock her teeth out for him to find, like, some kind of peace with her and for her to, for him to actually bring her around and present her as his wife, as the woman in his life... It's kind of sick, and it's kind of sick that people are jumping on top of this and looking at this like goals. Yeah, if you can't look at it like goals, it, 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 we could just appreciate that Fab is making a change and be happy about that. They're, they're not fucking goals for me. I'm sorry, but I don't want to get I don't want to get my advice from Fab. I don't want to get my advice from Fab. I don't, and I I do want to take this time though to highlight Emily B because as as you were talking, I'm like, damn, yo, like put yourself in these shoes real quick. You're being dragged through the mud for the next 16 years. Niggas don't want to claim you in public. Niggas hit you. You have a case. And it's all public knowledge. Mm -hmm. And now you have to forgive that man and move forward and be in the public light and be this perfect wife for this new changed man's perfect husband's picture that he's painting, right? I want to give her credit for being able to forgive him. You don't want to give credit for that? Go finish finish your thought. I want to give her credit for being able to forgive him, and I want to give her credit for moving on. She didn't have to do any of those. I don't think you, she had to endure 16 years of that. But I'm going to give her credit because it's like, yo, like, it, like they're, it's like, they're taking pictures. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, you got punched in the mouth. Everyone knows that. So when you post that picture, it's like, yo, didn't he? Like, when we know Emily as, you said it, Fab snuffed her. I want to... That takes a lot to stand there next to that man after. I mean, you can't want something for somebody that they don't want for themselves, right? I agree. You can ask that she leave him or hold him more accountable or say, hey, until I feel 100%, we're not going to take all these outfit picks together. We're not going to go outside and present ourselves as this perfect unit that we're not. So from that standpoint, I, I, I don't like how... Throughout this entire process, it's been conversations about her. Or actually, no. It hasn't been conversations about her suffering. It's all Fab. It's been all conversations about Fab. And that's why I wanted to highlight her, because she has suffered. And it's just like, we're looking at Fab like, ah, well, we got to so stop. So dope. But why? And like, there's no, listen, man, just like this, people say death before dishonor. There's no honor in being dead. Once you're dead, you're dead. Right. If you're going out in the streets and doing dumb shit, once you're dead, you're dead. If you if you die today, the job you have will replace you tomorrow. Yeah. Probably not even before the day is up. Probably not even before five o'clock. Yeah, already in somebody's DMs, like, can you be here today exactly. at eleven? <laughs> so there's no, there should be no award for suffering. Uh, I'm not giving the award to suffering. I'm giving the award to being a bigger person. Because the thing is, like, for me, that my like my take is just like. I'm not highlighting her suffering. I'm highlighting the fact that, like, through the suffering, like, she chose to endure, like, to move forward with him. She could have said, no, nah, I'm taking you for half. No, she could. They're not, they weren't married. She can take him for half right now. No, not. They probably have a prenup. Probably, right? But, like, she, like, like she could have given us real truths. You think that was the first time he hit her? You know what I'm saying? Like, she could have done so much more. But, like, she, I, I want to respect the fact that, like, she's just being a bigger person. I just, I just, I just don't like how it looks. It, 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 I agree. It looks shit. I, I don't, and and 
It seems like she's not in control of how it looks. Nope. She has no control. So, so I don't know. I don't know what to give any each. I don't, I don't know what to give either of them credit for. I just know that if you had punched me in the face, I couldn't stand next to you in a matching purple, sh- pur- <laughs> in a matching purple dress. You both take look a like fucking picture. Barney. Yeah. Or yeah. New Year's Eve. And they each probably got COVID because they were at a party with no mask. But anyway. That's not how you get COVID. Um... <laughs> But but yeah, like I, I just don't like the fact that like Emily's like suffering is just like so lauded and highlighted and 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 skipped over. It's kind of like it's highlighted and skipped over at the same time. It's weird. It's weird to me. Y'all are weird. People are yo. Everybody's <laughs> so fucking weird. Fact. In 2020, 2021. Yeah, that's, that's weirdo shit. It's weirdo shit. Yeah. I'm All the sure. social media shit is weirdo shit. Yeah. It's crazy. I right, saw so up next, guys. Of course, it's 2021. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And everybody has resolutions, right? You know, some people want to lose weight. Some people want to save money. Um, some people want to, you know, save up for that BBL that they've been hoping to get I for actually, the past few years. I actually know someone who went to. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a thing. <laughs> it's a thing for 2021. Salute. Whatever. You know, the whole 2020 Instagram is going to be deleted, and all you're going to see are the BBL photos. I. Okay. Yo, why are you sending me? Go, 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 go. go. <laughs> That's what they do, though. Yo, I literally just. Over two, just two. I just over just hot stepped over two things. I just, I, 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 no, the Euro step past everything that the Euro step past their old body, and then this yo, no, body. That, yeah, I'm 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 Euro I'm Euro stepping some tweet niggas right now. I know some <laughs> some niggas who just got the work. That's funny. <laughs> um, but do you have any resolutions? Any 2021 things that you want to work on? We don't have to like spend a whole lot of time. But we nothing crazy, that. man. I realized in in sitting down and writing down and planning out the year that this was just going to be like a, probably like the last year I'm going to be a dad. Uh, I mean, what am I saying? The last probably year. the last year that I'm not gonna have children. I will probably okay. have kids in, in, in like this might be one of the last years that happens, you know. So um, that just spurred a whole sense of just improving myself. Starting like it's it's been continuous going, but now the focus is com- to be the best dude I could be, to be the best dad I could be, to set things up. Um, you know, for when that time is up. So a lot mm-hmm. of just self improvement. Um, I realized one thing. I was like, I don't want like children live what they learn, right? And I don't want like my kids to see all of my bad traits. So like this is me being vulnerable and 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 just talking like there's like things that I don't want my kids to see. So this year okay. for me is like going to be self improvement. Just I mean, you know, just continuously self improvement. I think everybody should kind of just continue working on themselves. Um, last year I fell in love with with being active. So just Staying consistent with that. That's my mm-hmm. thing. That's my T. I give it like, and I've also narrowed it down to about 30, 35 minutes a day. That's um, good. And it's that's efficient. It's, a, it's, it's efficient. It's, it's what works for me. It's my happy medium, um, but minimum 30. And, I, and then if I add some other things, it can go to an hour. Mm-hmm. And then the last thing is just like chase all things tangible. I wrote that down because um, as 2020 was a year of get the hustle out of you or whatever it may be, it was also a year of like sitting down for me and being like, what the fuck do I want? What's really important? When the score zip also. zip, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I can, I, like I can pivot to wherever I want, and where do I want to put my efforts and my energy? So there's a couple of different things, d- endeavors I want to embark on. Like I start acting classes next week. Nice. Um. So like, there's different things that in in, in life that I want to accomplish, and I'm just gonna chase all that shit. Cool. So awesome. that's very very. That's what I got. What you got? Um, along the same lines, you know, just continue to grow every day. You know, all the, you know, generic stuff, generic stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, I really want to, you know, manage my money a whole lot better this year. Okay. Um, Save more and have like the money I'm saving actually do something for me. Right, right, right. Um, This might be the year of stocks. I mean, I'm in. I'm in. in? I'm in a little bit right now. Okay. Yeah. Dibbling and dabbling, dabbling and dibbling. Okay. Um, So I definitely want to get better when it comes to stuff like that. Good stuff. And then, you know, just continue to, you know, take chances, probably take more chances. I think as I've gotten older, I've taken more chances and, you know, um, been a little bit more risky. So I want to continue to do that. Um, Yeah. And I feel like there's, I mean, I put like the toxic New Year resolutions also that everybody has. Like everybody's cutting people off. Mm -hmm. New Year, new me. Mm -hmm. Only focusing on myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's nasty. You know, those are toxic phrases that have now, that we, I feel like, my personal opinion, I feel like we've taken these things and we've made, like, we just only use them for the negative, right? Like, cutting people off, like, that is a very negative thing. 
but like redefining your friend circles or like realigning like who's important in your life and where you should put your energies and efforts um and not just making it like yo I'm cutting them off like you don't have to you can just be what it is and you can just yeah. put your efforts into something else right like less attention to the people that you want to cut off and maybe more attention to the people that's already who deserve more and by default they're already cut off you know what I mean like the funniest thing i've seen on instagram is that uh, that meme where people like people don't know this, this. This is their last year knowing me. Oh God, save it. Last year, I, I didn't want to know you last year. <laughs> I, I I'm I'm confused. Big time. Big Very time. confused. Uh, but yeah, those are good. And yeah. then New Year, new me. New Year, new me, man. New Year, new me. New Year, new me. Like what? The what? The exactly. What? You feel <laughs> me? Like what? I don't know. New what? year, new body. What new is EDL. it? What is it? What is the new you? New mommy makeover. Right, whatever it is, just uh, all right, cool. But I don't know well, what that means. Picks, just keep your old yeah, picks keep up. Keep your old picks up. Keep and your old picks up. You're only focusing on yourself. That's cool. I think you should focus on yourself. But like, we, it's so funny. You and I both said that we want to focus on ourselves, but we didn't say only, right? No, like, and that's I, what makes that statement toxic. I, I think we, you and I are both said we're focusing on ourselves. It's self, I mean, self improvement is a real thing. Right. But when you say I'm only focusing only? on myself, it's like, all right. Are you only focus, focusing on yourself because the people you choose to be in your life always turn out to be dickheads? Maybe you just need to yeah. be have a like a more discerning yeah. eye or judgment yeah. or a better filter of who you, you let in your life. Yeah, consistently. Right, like like be mindful of what who you're giving to. Yeah, because I feel like a lot of the things like like a lot of people get like a lot of resentment because they're giving to people who don't even want to receive what they're giving. Friendship, attention, love, affection, um, um, what consistency. People are just giving that, and sometimes when people are not receiving that, and so we're like, oh, you know what? I'm only going to focus on myself. Well, guess what, man? That person's not really, was never really in a place to yeah. receive that. You put yourself in that position to continue giving. You have to be aware of what's going on. But let's Indeed. talk sports. Indeed. Sports time. Sports, sports, yeah, sports. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that? On the back of my uh, 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 sweater, it says Mamba. Copy Kobe. that. Copy that. I want you to know that. Sports. Sports. <laughs> um, so, first thing I have, Marvin Bagley. Go. Marvin Bagley's dad. Um, so, Marvin Bagley plays for the Sacramento Kings. Former Duke star. Big man. Still kind of on the fringe about whether he's going to be like a really good player or not. I, yeah. don't th- I don't think he's like that. You feel me? Still, okay. he, has, he has moments. Potential. But right now, you're not like that. So a lot of potential. So say his, the tweet. His dad got mad <laughs> and went to Twitter and said that the Kings need to trade his son ASAP. Um, his dad is upset dad at his lack. His oh, his dad was definitely sipping on something brown when he the was brown. It was the brown, right? Absolutely. It had to be the brown. Oh, he motherfuckers. You know, he's he he motherfuckers. Oh, it's the fourth quarter. It's five no, minutes left. Damn son, ain't even hooping. Where's Junior? Yeah, Junior's yeah, not in there. Yeah, Junior need to play. Nah, 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 Junior needs to get... Look at them. They can't rebound. They, I mean, can't, they can't stop a nosebleed. But if Junior was in there, he would grab all the bullets. He would just put up all the buckets. <laughs> it's like, yo, fam, shut up. Sip on the brown. So uh, Marvin Bagley's but I get dad, it, probably do the same thing as a dad. So sipping whatever. on some yak and just went to Twitter and and tweeted and said that this the king should trade his son ASAP. This gave me Lavar Ball by Lavar Ball vibes. You know what's funny? I met uh, Marvin's dad. Real nice guy. I mean, like a real like he's he's not like Lavar and he's like actually like when I met his dad it was like when Lavar was like on the scene because uh-huh. I was doing the um, AU tournaments down in, in Georgia Peach mm-hmm. Jam and his dad is like. His dad's not what well, like his dad doesn't even, his dad doesn't even really come off like that. His dad watched every game in silence. This is when Marvin was the number one recruit. And yeah. His dad watched every game in silence, right? So it's like he had to be sipping on the. He brown was sipping on something yaki. Because, but this is little Lavarish, um, and guess what? <laughs> as a, as a dad who has a son in the league, if I see Lavar saying, "Yo, trade my son," and I see things working, <laughs> "Yo, drop my son," <laughs> I might fuck around and tweet some shit and just see where it goes. Have things worked for Lavar though? Decently. 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 You can't don't look, look at me decently. I'm gonna I'm gonna give more credit to his kids than I am gonna give come to him. Come on. Yeah. No. It's it's it, it, come on, man. Come I'm gonna on. give more credit to his kids than he gives to him. Than I than I give to him. That's just me. They accomplish these so things. So what do you they, gi- what do you give him what do you give his dad? Who the ball? LeVar. Levar? Yeah. Good dad. Present, active, there for his kids, supportive. As far as the strategy part, no, no, no. What what did he strategize? When did he play chess? I mean, ch- I mean, I don't know if he played chess, chess. I don't even even know if he I mean, maybe played chess, chess. But I feel like yo saying like yo, listen, I'm going to invest, invest this amount of money to this type of training, to this, to this, to this, to get these results. 
At a certain point in time, that's out of his hands, though. For sure. So uh, the credit goes to his kids, but I also want to give credit to LeVar. Come on. I, I did. I gave him I gave him the credit I'm going to give you him. You gave him a pat on the back, boy. <laughs> he was like, LeVar, good dad. I mean, what else? I mean, Present. listen, like, what else do you want as a dad besides a pat on the back and no, say you're a good dad? I mean, I'll, I'll give LeVar uh, three kids in the NBA. Two. One in the G League. I like it. Is he in the G League? I don't know where he went after exactly. the Detroit thing. Okay, two All kids. Right. Next, you had Sha- <laughs> <laughs> You had Shady Shaq. Shaq takes a shot at Rudy Gobert's game after a $205 million dollar contract this. extension. Um, Shaq said, I'm not going to hate, but this should be an inspiration to all the little kids out there. You average 11 points in the NBA, you could get $200 million. I thought it was fucking hilarious. This is hilarious. I busted out laughing. Yeah. Uh, oh, my boy Trav called me to tell me this tweet because I thought, I thought it was great. Ultimately, yo, like, you can stay out of, out of his pockets, dude. Like, it was a shady comment. The moment you start something with, I'm not going to hate. It's hate. Hate's, hate's on the way. Right, yo, hate's after hate's the comma. Yo, hate was right after the comma. Hates. I'm not going to hate, comma. Then enter the hate. Hate is one subway stop away. Yeah. I, I mean, listen, I get what Shaq's saying, um, but it's a shady comment, and times are different. So uh, see, I don't see. I, this is the issue I had with it when we talked about this before mm. about Rudy Gobert being a max player and getting mm. two hundred million dollars. Mm. I just I, I don't see it being a thing that helps his team win a championship because he's not that guy. Yeah, he's not. But he got two hundred million dollars. Yeah, but a lot of people like there's a lot of people getting crazy bags right got, now. No, not like that. But we got to stop like devaluing money just because the NBA has seen this boom in money and revenue. Right, two hundred million dollars is still two hundred million dollars. Yeah. Regardless of what it means to the NBA circles, to regular people, two hundred million dollars means you're really, 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 really good at your job. Yeah. When he's just really good. Yeah, I think I think Rudy's just good, but I think we are seeing these numbers and we're not realizing that that the that the numbers have just changed, man. I don't like I don't think like I won't build my franchise around Rudy. I understand the numbers have changed, but two hundred mil is still two hundred. Two hundred mil is still two hundred mil, but like. See, that's the thing, right? Like, this is what happens when you give people, like, a lot of top. He's a defensive player of the year. How many years? Two years? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> like, now, nah, but, like, if you neck dude and you keep giving him these awards, making him feel like he's the best defensive player of the year. Yeah. Right? Nigga, my stock is up. <laughs> that's very true. You know what I mean? Like, we did this. Yeah. We looked at Rudy's average. Uh, we looked at Rudy's 11 and 12 and a couple of blocks and his presence, and we said, mm, 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 mm. Defensive player of the year. I, lo- I love him. Yeah. And then, guess what? When it's time to renegotiate contracts, well, guess what? On my resume, you gave I'm me I'm the defensive tone. player of the year. So I'm, the, I'm an all-star. I'm this and that. No, you're right. You know? Like, we we did this to him. But Shaq, man, Shaq, that's, uh, that was shady, dude. I feel, like the, I feel like Shaq is a guy that can say shit like that also because he was so dominant. See, that's the thing. Yes. But, like, yes. Yes. Shaq was the most dominant. Mm-hmm. And when Shaq got 100 mil, people say, yeah, that's appropriate. When yeah. Shaq got 100 mil back in the 90s, he said, yep, uh-huh. He deserves no, that. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm with him. But, like, we're grateful for Shaq's. We're grateful for, you know, Rudy's just not good like that. No, I don't want to say he's not good. He's not good, but he's, like, I mean, he's good. He's not he's $205 not, million he, dollars good. Yeah, that's, and I get it. I get yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. I get it. Um, so next up, you know, just a few headlines, a few early season headlines. Ooh, seven games in, Knicks seven are over 500. In. How you feel? How you feel? How you feel? Juju, almost a triple Just want to say, RJ Julius Randle, last night. best player in New York right now. <laughs> best player in New York right now. Yo, KD went out last Without night because he, he had COVID for and a little COVID bit. Got, and now, now Julius is the best player in New York. Best Yo, player in New York. I can't Guess wait. you don't have COVID. Julius Randle. <laughs> Guess who's over 500? The New York Knicks. What's Brooklyn standing? Brooklyn is three and four, and the Knicks are four and three. They started. And Brooklyn's up. lost, I think, two straight, either two or three straight. Figuring it out. And they, they just, got they some, and, they and they got some uh, they got some chemistry issues. Spencer Dinwiddie is out for the season. Uh, that's a huge blow. That's a big blow. To their starting lineup. But you got you got Levert. I honestly, I honestly felt like you know it's crazy. Spencer was like a twenty point guy for them, mm-hmm. but on the court, it was like he was drowned. Like I felt like he was just drowned out. Like as a starter, um, next to KD and Kyrie. I don't feel like he was drowned out. I mean, they have they have based on his in potential. that lineup, they have three really good one on one players. Now the next level is them playing 
as a team, playing yeah, off of each yeah, other. Yeah. Kyrie playing off the ball. KD. I thought Spencer was adjusting well. Like nice to that. Yeah, I think he's the I, I, best. Yeah. He, no, suited he, to. Right, yeah, it's best suited to. Yeah, yeah for sure, yeah, for sure. For best sure. suited to adjust so as that's opposed a big to blow, Kyrie blow. and KD. Indeed. Absolutely. Um, Lakers and Sixers leading each conference. Uh, you think that stays the way you stay? You think it stays like that the entire season? Lakers stay on top, Sixers stay on top? Lakers will stay on top. What, what is the Sixers, though? What, you guys put Seth Curry and now you guys are nice. No. The Sixers are playing great. Yeah, they are. Salute. Dope. You guys maybe fig- figured out the Joel Embiid and then and, 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 and Ben Simmons, Simmons things? Dope. Yeah. Whatever. I don't think they are a number one seed, but if they are, more power to them. Early struggles from the Bucks. Yeah, Bucks are only right? four and three. I like Drew. Giannis missing. Game I like. Game I throws. like. Uh, Giannis. Yeah, Giannis. Is Giannis your MVP? Right now. Not right now. Please, not right now. In. Last year was your MVP. Uh, LeBron was MVP. Too. Yeah. You don't. Yeah. Yeah. But listen, like this is uh, 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 this theory that Giannis isn't good. You can't average thirty and thirteen and not be good. Yeah, he's so good. we understand that Giannis is an all-time great he's talent. Good. But in the playoffs, he's guardable. And yeah. in the regular season, they have a really new team also, so they're getting adjusted and getting their chemistry together. How much was this extension? Like I two, think it was 220. The biggest, right? Yeah, highest ever. Right, so highest ever. He so, deserved it. Salute. My thing on that is, like, if I'm getting 220,000. Million. 200, yeah, so, wow, 220 <laughs> million, right? 220 yeah, he million. 220, he's getting, like, 220,000, like, per game or something like that. wake up and cry. Yes, yeah, seriously. Uh, but, yeah, if I am making 220 mil. And they can't guard me in the play, or, 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 or I, I'm guardable. I can, be, yeah. I can be guarded in the playoffs. I'm going to adjust it this year. I'm going to take that 220 mil, and you guys are only getting post work. If I'm Giannis, mm-hmm. I'll give you 30 in the post. You can, no one can. Uh, He's not really that good in the post, though. I know. That's what I'm saying. You have to, like, you have to, bro, you can learn. You're a seven footer, strong as fuck. Like, what moves? Adjust your game. If, if niggas can't go, if niggas can stop you in the playoffs, they cannot stop you in the post. I think the thing is that Adjust. He, he wants to. I think the go-to for everybody now in the NBA, just the way the league is, is if, KD. is if you're not a good three-point shooter, you have to become a good three-point shooter. And I don't think that's necessarily true. Maybe that's my old-school thinking, but I don't think it's necessarily true. Where if no, you're struggling at some point in your game, you just have to become a better, a better three-point shooter, and that makes you a better player. I think there are other things that you can do. There's other things that Giannis can do. Make a mid-range, get to the basket with his back to the basket because they they plug the paint. All he does is drive, drive, drive. And, you know, there's only so much you can do when you drive, 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 and the people you're kicking it out to are missing shots. So um, I think he expands his game. I think he needs to expand. I think if he expands his game, he might be one of the most unguardable players in the league. He is right now. Just in the playoffs, it's easy to game plan for him. Yeah, he needs to get into a little – he needs to get new moves in the back. Like – yeah, he, he doesn't have a lot of I moves. I might call him up. Trust He's me on the dance I'm gonna floor. Train him. I'm going to train him. Giannis is me on the dance floor. He don't have a lot of moves. I'm, I'm going to train <laughs> You going to train Giannis? Yeah, I got some shit he needs. <laughs> what you got for Giannis? He needs um he needs a a, 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 a turnaround, a knee up, and a one-legger. One of these? Like a little, oh, a little, that's okay. hard. You got that for him? I got that for him. He needs because he needs it. Because what happens is when he posts up people on the post, he can't really get in because they clog up. So fade out. So I need that from Giannis. I need that to be automatic. I rather got no fade away. I need that better than his three. I feel you on that. You know what I mean? And I just want you to knock down the. I don't want you to like to bring the ball up and shoot the first three. I want you just to knock down the one that I pass it to you. Ugh, I would, I would. I've every time I see Giannis about to shoot a three, his hands are too big, and he's he's so like not confident in his shot. You can see it. It's like the hitch and the face, the face, the face. Thinks he's like, "Mm, yeah, yeah, that's the one. I gotta make this. Mm. Yeah. Can't miss this three. Can't miss this. He had two last night. Indeed. Needed that. Thank you. Like he's Nigerian. He looks like an like a Nigerian. He's thinking about buying a fake Gucci. <laughs> mm, I'm not gonna hit this. Mm, I'm not gonna be able to sell this fake Gucci bag. It's crazy, right? <laughs> crazy, right? <laughs> crazy, right? <laughs> uh, James Harden is still in Houston. Yeah, I was wrong. My take was wrong. You thought he was out? I told you he wouldn't play yeah. a single game. My take was wrong. He My bad. Yeah, he here, he hooping. My bad. Um, he's <laughs> here, he's hooping. John Wall, COVID free. They're trying to figure it out. Yo, Julius Randle is the best player in New wow, York right okay, now. okay, so here's the thing. Here, we heard that take already. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yo, he wrote that like five times. <laughs> and what's crazy was I, at the barbershop, I'm hearing sports talk like TV in the background. And this guy is wearing this the new the new collab the new Kith oh the Kith MSG Nick City collab. so I'm like 
Oh, I was like, that's interesting. Like at first, I'm thinking it's ESPN. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. Like he's wearing like that New York collab. That's W. Yeah. Must be a New York guy. And then I realized it's it's on the MSG network. Mm-hmm. And I was I was watching. There was some sick things going on. Oh, was, listen, LeBron comparisons. Of course, I watch MSG. MSG like for Knicks is Friday night Knicks. All of that. Let me ask you. All of that. There's a gentleman that they show the highlight of, uh, or a commercial of, or a video or a doc of. He only wears Knicks clothes, Knicks apparel, every day. Who are you talking about? There's a dude that okay. was on your network. My, that was my network. <laughs> now it's your network for sure. <laughs> so. But there's a dude, and he only wears Knicks apparel every single day. Every day is like a Nick tee or a Nick jacket or a Nick jersey. I can't wear Nick orange socks. every day. Orange I can't and pull blue. Up or, I don't pull yo, up orange that well. No, I wish I, I, I've never seen anything more sick in my life. <laughs> it is I, sick. It's that sick. I, no I chips. Can't, I, can't, uh, I can't wear orange every day. Um, orange is not bad, though. You cannot wear orange every day. Though. I can't do orange every day. No. <laughs> that's wild crazy. I told somebody the other day. I got a fucking tangerine every day. My man doesn't want to wear red shirts no more. <laughs> 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 I told him. I told him. Yeah. It's yeah, a real thing. We don't do that. It's a real thing. I was like, do you want to wear orange every day after you wear it? Like, I mean, like, no. For six and a half years, the same thing every day? Nah, yeah. I'm good. No. Um, Nick fans are wild. Salute. I, I I love and I respect Nick fans because honestly I don't know another loyal bunch. RJ Barrett is playing really good also. No, he is. <laughs> no, he fact. is. He is. He is. That's he had fact. 26 last yeah. night. Yeah. Which is like which is like I'm really just impressed by the Knicks. It's good. They're playing really good um I need, wait, defense. I need this. I need this, this is I need uh basketball this, reference. Yeah, I need basketball this. Basketball reference.com. Oh my bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh RJ is averaging 18, 18, 7, and 3 right now. Up from his to- out from his average of fourteen last year, and he's um yeah shooting oh he's shooting horribly from the three point line so I'm not going to give you guys that percentage, but he's playing really well, and the Knicks uh, look I- like they're you know they have a solid foundation look like for the first time in years they look like they have a solid foundation. I am not one of those guys that's like yeah, what y'all missing what y'all, y'all missing right now what you need right tell me what you need you're right a superstar. now superstar superstar just a super just one superstar coming superstar right now. coming right up yeah. Every team needs who, a superstar. Who are you eyeing right now? Who's pretty? I don't know. Nobody wants to play here. So who can I really eye? It's like me looking at Instagram models. I can look, <laughs> but <laughs> what else is going to happen after that? <laughs> not a fucking thing. Yo, speaking of Instagram models. Let's not. Let's not. But, but <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's purge out... Um, let's purge out... You should purge out your followers sometimes. Like, I think people should just like... <laughs> Purge out the followers. I, I have a good time purging with out the people followers. you're following. Mm-hmm. I've done that. Mm-hmm. You know what happens sometimes though. <laughs> what well, they drop some heat, <laughs> <laughs> and then you follow back. <laughs> no, never, <laughs> never double back because the search bar is there. But sometimes your boys send you some heat, and you're like, "This is what I've been missing. Not missing anything. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> edit, edit. you gotta take a set. This is what. I- anyway." Uh, speaking of which, actually, a funny start on this, right? I just, no, no, I'll tell you off mic. Copy that. <laughs> That's all I got. That's all I got in the tank today. That's all I got in the tank, man. It's so good. We might actually have a month of live podcast. I'm with that. I'm with that. And I'm excited for that. Indeed. I'm really excited for that. COVID free. Um, That's the way to be. Only way to be. Just uh, say no to COVID. <laughs> well, you can't. If that bitch calls you up, <laughs> it will get you. You got you to gotta at least like you screen the call. Yeah, screen like yo, COVID as you. Copy that. Awesome, awesome. All right, guys. So for Josh, it's Trev. This is the King Speech Podcast, episode number sixty-two. Make sure you check the socials. Um, the at King Speech Five on Instagram. Yeah, yeah King Speech yeah. Podcast. It's be Make here, sure you man. check the YouTube the couch. channel. Absolutely. Ain't nobody been on my couch. Nah, man. No, nah, I've been very, um, very loyal. Yeah. Very loyal. I've been also very loyal. That's good. It's good to know. It's good to know. It's good to have trust in a relationship. Um, yeah, so we'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. Peace.